a perfect opportunity to uh, evaluate each dog's athletic potential. Now, we're looking at how well they match the other dogs as far as speed goes and also endurance. We're probably going at about 20 miles an hour, and that takes every dog doing their job. But the difference is, in the, when we're racing the Iditarod or the Yukon Quest, is how much endurance they have. They have to be able to go over 100 miles a day, day after day. And that takes real teamwork to do that. I'm giving the dogs a left-hand command up here, and I've got to sign up, and I'll talk you on the way back. Ha. Okay, folks, Dave just said ha. Ha means left turn, G means right turn. These dogs have to know these commands because there's no rain on the dogs. So if they don't know the word, you'll go one way, the wrong way, for a very long way. So they're very smart animals too. Well, here we come out of those trees and we're headed home. And this is the time that I evaluate something else. What I evaluate now is how well I've trained these dogs. Because what we want to do is have a team that can hold energy in reserve when you first start a run and use it at the end to pass games that might be in front of you and to hold off competitors who might be behind you. Now, that's the winning combination. When you're out on the trail, you have to have a team that can really surge cross the finish line and win the race. This looks like a team that has it, and I look forward to working with them this winter. I'll tell you more when I get back. Folks, down there, I'm sure we have uh, Kyle Durant.